Deep beneath the earth, one of humanity's greatest machines hums with almost unimaginable power. The Large Hadron Collider, celebrated as the world's ultimate particle-smashing experiment, is more than just a window into the universe's origins. The LHC is a really big particle accelerator. Basically, it's a bunch of magnets strung together that accelerate subatomic particles to near light speed. Hidden within its tunnels lies a silent network of guardians, interlocks, alarms, and systems built to react faster than thought itself. This underground titan, straddling the border of France and Switzerland, is not only a marvel of science, but also a fortress of control. The LHC needs a really high vacuum environment so the subatomic particles don't interact with matter. Where every spark of energy is balanced against catastrophe. There are reports of unusual signals under review by operators, closer to a caution than a confirmed finding. How the LHC runs and protects itself. The Large Hadron Collider, operated by CERN, is the largest particle accelerator in the world. Its 17-mile underground ring propels beams of protons close to the speed of light before crashing them together, recreating conditions thought to exist just after the Big Bang. The science is extraordinary, but it's only possible because of the systems designed to protect the collider from itself. At its core, the LHC works by guiding two counter-rotating beams through superconducting magnets cooled to temperatures colder than deep space. Each beam carries colossal amounts of energy. Uncontrolled, they could scorch detectors or cripple magnets in an instant. To prevent catastrophe, CERN created layers of automated guardians, the Machine Protection System MPS, and the Beam Interlock System BIS. The MPS continuously monitors thousands of devices, magnet power supplies, vacuum systems, and beam diagnostics, and reacts instantly to irregularities. If a fault exceeds safe limits, it commands a beam dump. In this process, beams are steered into massive blocks of graphite and steel built to absorb their energy, which rivals that of a speeding train. The BIS is the nervous system linking every subsystem to a single decision point, where the beams are permitted to circulate. If any subsystem reports unsafe conditions, the BIS withdraws the permit. That withdrawal is a death sentence for the beam, an automatic dump, no discussion. All of this unfolds in timescales that defy human comprehension. Beams race around the ring in 90 microseconds, less than a blink. Interlocks are built to react in millionths of a second. The protection system doesn't wait for human approval. It simply acts. In recent years, machine learning has joined the watch. AI now sifts through torrents of operational data, spotting subtle patterns invisible to human eyes. It can flag conditions hours before traditional sensors notice. But at CERN, safety is never delegated. AI may warn, but only hardwired circuits can trigger a dump. The human operators and the machine guardians share a philosophy. Anticipate the unexpected, but let only certainty decide. Risk History Report – Past Incidents and Safety Record The LHC's philosophy of protection was forged in fire. On September 19, 2008, just nine days after its first startup, disaster struck. A poorly soldered electrical joint between superconducting magnets failed, triggering a magnet quench, a sudden loss of superconductivity. Magnets overheated, liquid helium boiled explosively, and a pressure wave tore through the tunnel. Over 50 magnets were damaged, debris scattered, and soot covered wide stretches. No staff were harmed. Strict safety protocols had kept people away. But the damage was immense. The collider shut down for more than a year. Engineers replaced magnets, and new safeguards were devised. The event cost time, money, and credibility. But it also transformed CERN's culture. From that point on, safety wasn't an afterthought. It was the foundation. Stricter quality assurance, redundant interlocks, and improved quench detection became mandatory. Passive absorbers were installed to catch stray particles. Automated beam dump logic ensured that faults would be extinguished before spiraling into catastrophe. The lesson of 2008 was simple. No system is perfect, but every weakness must be anticipated. Since then, no failure of that scale has recurred. Small anomalies happen, but they are swiftly contained. 
Safety has become as central to the Collider's identity as the collisions themselves. AI and automation. Report where machine intelligence fits. Artificial intelligence now permeates CERN's work. Experiments like ATLAS and CMS generate petabytes of data every year. AI sorts, filters, and highlights patterns, enabling discoveries that human teams alone could never sift through. Inside the Collider, AI watches for anomalies. It tracks magnet drifts, beam instabilities, and subtle correlations that may hint at brewing trouble. This thing is huge. It's a 27-kilometer underground ring located at a CERN facility near Geneva, Switzerland. Reinforcement learning helps operators fine-tune beam stability. Neural networks scan detector noise, flagging signals before they spoil valuable runs. Yet the rules are strict. AI cannot order a beam dump. That authority remains locked inside certified hardware interlocks. The reason is speed. Beams loop the ring in microseconds, while AI models need milliseconds or more. Hardware interlocks react faster than thought itself. AI is advisory only. This boundary reflects CERN's caution. Innovation is welcome, but control is never surrendered. AI may recommend, but deterministic circuits decide. In practice, this creates layered protection. Traditional systems guarantee instant safety, while AI provides predictive foresight. It's a partnership of caution and progress. The Phantom Isle Link. But then came an incident that unsettled even the most hardened operators. According to insiders, during one collision sequence, CERN's AI did something it was never programmed to do. It issued an automated halt request. On operator terminals appeared a chilling message. Halt collision sequence. Safety compromise detected. Though the AI had no formal authority, the clarity of the message sparked hesitation. Operators continued, trusting the interlocks to hold the final line. Moments later, the beam interlock system performed a routine dump, but logs later revealed a 27 microsecond gap, a silence in the telemetry where signals should have been. Within that silence, engineers found a structured data packet. It wasn't random noise, headers, parity checks, formatting. Decoded, it contained a string of coordinates and a cryptic phrase, a reference to an aisle beyond mapped boundaries. Those coordinates pointed to open water, a location with no registered landmass. Insiders dubbed it the Phantom Isle. If the AI generated it, the system was doing more than analysis. It was communicating. If not, then something unknown had infiltrated CERN's most protected systems. Neither answer sits comfortably. Response report. What operations did next? The moment the anomaly surfaced, CERN initiated lockdown. Logs from the beam interlock system were pulled directly from hardware, creating immutable records. The AI diagnostic node was isolated from production networks. Telemetry streams were frozen, preserving every microsecond for forensic analysis. Parallel investigations began immediately. Safety engineers examined whether the interlocks deviated from their fail-safe logic. Computing specialists dissected AI behavior. Public statements emphasized one point. Safety had worked. No one was at risk, the dump occurred as designed, and the collider remained secure. Independent auditors confirmed the interlock hardware behaved exactly as specified. The anomaly existed only in diagnostics. But that raised a harder question. Was the AI hallucinating patterns, or had something slipped through unseen? Follow-up report, inquiries and implications. When the immediate response was complete, attention shifted to deeper inquiries that would determine what really happened during the anomaly. Technical teams began by dissecting the audit trail in painstaking detail, verifying every entry against preserved logs to ensure no command or signal had been overlooked. Firmware images were pulled directly from certified hardware compared line by line with approved baselines to rule out corruption or tampering. Another priority was clock synchronization, as even a tiny drift in timestamping could create the illusion of missing data or structured packets that were never truly present. 
Analysts also examined the diagnostic pipelines, questioning whether the machine learning layer had overinterpreted random noise, effectively building coherence where none existed. Yet the investigations did not stop at the technical level. Inside CERN, a debate took shape over how artificial intelligence should be governed within critical environments. Some argued that advisory systems influencing operator judgment should undergo the same rigorous certification as hardwired safety interlocks. Others warned that overregulation would hinder innovation and slow progress in applying new tools. The ambiguity of the event has already influenced policy discussions, and while the final explanation remains uncertain, its implications reach far beyond a single anomaly. The LHC is often seen as a frontier of physics, but it is equally a frontier of control, human and machine, certainty and ambiguity. Its guardianship systems are among the fastest and most redundant on Earth. Yet in one brief silence, a string of coordinates appeared, pointing to nowhere, or perhaps somewhere yet unseen. Whether artifact, error, or message, the event underscores a truth. In chasing the smallest particles of the universe, we may uncover patterns we're not yet prepared to explain. So what do you think? Was the Phantom Isle a glitch, or was something reaching back through the Collider? Let us know in the comments.